Okay, let's have a quick look at our program so far. Here we go, we got a combo box we just added. When we click that, it changes the text box to equal whatever the option we chose within a, the drop down box, the combo box. And in turn, the text box changes the label and the title, whoops, the title of uh, our window here. And we have some buttons that we did in earlier tutorials. Look back to learn more about them. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna add a button that will allow us to add whatever we type in the text box and append it to the list in the combo box. So here we go, let's do that. So we're going to go into our text editor to edit our text and we're gonna add a button. Once again, I'm just calling these for this tutorial just basically numbering the buttons, but you might want to, you know, if you're writing an actual program, name them a little bit better. Like since this one's going to be adding to the combo box, maybe combo add underscore btn or something. But I'm just going to call it button six, and we're going to make it that object that we're creating. Button six is the object to a GTK button. So that's what it is. We're going to give it some text. Add to combo. And we're going to connect that when it's clicked. So we're going to say self dot button six dot connect when it's clicked. Run this function. Whoops. Function dot. Uh, we'll call it add combo. Okay. So we've created the button object. We've connected to a function, uh, so things we have left to do is place it somewhere in our application and also create that function. Let's uh, add the button first. For right now, we'll add it into our vertical box and we'll put it right below our text box here. So in our vertical box, which is box two, so self.box2.pack start self dot button six. Okay, so it's now should be visible when we start up our application. Actually, let's do that. Let's start it up. Oh, well, it's going to give me an error because that we haven't created that function yet. So let's go create that function real quick. So define add combo self widget and we're going to say self dot combo and we're going to append some text to it just as we did when we created the combo box if you look here we appended two lines so that's basically we're doing the same thing there Let's go back up to our function here. So self combo, that's our object. What we're doing is we're appending text. And what are we going to append? We're going to append self.textbox.getText. And the reason we're writing that out is because uh, our widget is not the text box, it's the button. So if we did widget, it would it would give us an error because there is no get text for the button. So let's save that. We'll run it. We've got an error here. Oh, I did a semicolon instead of a colon. Let's fix that real quick. Oops. Let's try to type it in the right spot here. There we go. Okay. Here's our code. We've got our buttons, our labels squeezed in there. And that's just because of the size of our program. If we stretch it out, we'll see it better. Uh, we got our text box. We can type blah, 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 blah in there. And if we click, if we look at our drop down box, we can see we have two options. If I click add to combo, boom. You can see it added it down to the bottom here. I can write www.filmsbychris.com. Great place for some video tutorials. You can see it's not there yet, but if I click add to combo, it is now added in there. Let's clean this up a little bit. Let's move the button 
the add combo box to the end of our text box here. We're going to do that by adding another horizontal box. So let's go into our code here. And once again, uh, if you're actually working on a project, be sure to comment quite a bit. I'm not commenting because I'm explaining everything to you. And after I finish these tutorials, I'm never going to use this program again. Um, so we've got our first horizontal box and our vertical box. Uh, let's add another box in here. I'm just going to call it box three, but once again, you should name it something better so you are a little bit clearer on what it is. So when you come back to your code, and if you don't name it better, at least comment it. So we'll call it box three, and that object is a GTK dot horizontal box. So H B capital and then lowercase O X. So that's created. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our text box and our, which is our entry box, and our button six and put it inside that horizontal box. So to save some time, I'm just going to copy and paste. So copy and paste that there. And remember to rename this to box three, box three, and we're going to delete the text box line here and we'll just change where it says self button six. We'll make that box three. So let's explain this. We're creating a horizontal box which has buttons one through five in it. But then we're also creating another horizontal box and we're putting the text box, which is our entry box, and our button six into that horizontal box. And then we have our vertical box, which has our box one, which is all this stuff. Then we'll have our label. And then we add box three, which we just created right here. And then we have our combo box. Let's have a look at how that looks. We'll save it and we'll run it. There we go. So now this button is next to our text box instead of below it. So I can type blah, 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 add, and you can see it added it. Now the stuff you add is not gonna be saved into the code. So as you see, if we close the program and restart it, let's do that. That's not there anymore. Uh, if you wanna do that, you have to save that stuff out somewhere to probably a text file and add it in later, which is actually something we'll probably do in the next few tutorials. I hope you're enjoying these tutorials on GTK and Python. I hope you keep on watching and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Also visit filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC to chat with us in IRC. Uh, that's if you want to go through a web-based client. If you or use IRC and you have a client that you like, uh, such as XChat or WeChat, or there's a number of them, uh, we are on Freenode. And our channel is Films by Chris. Thank you for watching, and I hope that.